Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me for another beer review. And in this one, um, we've got a local one to me. Um, <coughs> I've been wanting to do a local local beers for a while. Um, but I've always had a feeling with my local brewery that his beers weren't the finished article yet. I don't know. I just had this kind of thing at the back of my mind that I should wait until he establishes himself a little bit more and maybe add a few more different styles of beer to his core range. So I kind of left it for a couple of years and now I've looked up what he's doing now and I think it's time to start reviewing his beers. So I'm based near Richmond and we have, um, we're going to the Richmond Brewing Company, which is two minutes away from me. <laughs> and we have a bottle of their Richmond Pale Ale. Super smashing great, 5% ABV. There you go. Give me a little twist there. Traditional in every sense of the word. Uh, Richmond Brewing Company returning the brewing tradition to Richmond for the first time in over 100 years, situated at the historic Grade 2 listed Richmond Station, which has got a cinema in and coffee shops and bakery and everything else. Um, Richmond Brewing uh, dot uk a pale easy drinking seasonal summer ale citrus notes brewed with a touch of crystal malt for a real depth of flavour so yeah there you go there's a picture of the square in Richmond so let's crack this open plain silver crown hmm. it's like a bit a little bit like a Gabby Baldy biscuit in a way, getting hints of lemon, hints of biscuitiness, but they're all little faint notes. To be honest, it's it's not really a full on assault onto the nasal senses, if you know what I mean. So let's pour this out. Yeah, so I'm originally from Eastbourne, um, but my adoptive um, town is Richmond. I've been living in Richmond. Well, not Richmond, but a village outside of Richmond for nearly getting on for ten years now, to be honest with you. So yeah, I do love the area. I love the Yorkshire Dales. I love the food. There's not really anything really to complain about the Yorkshire Dales and Yorkshire area, to be honest. Um as you can see, clear gold colour, a little bit of carbonation got up, thin in head. And again, yeah, it's a little bit gary baldy biscuity ness to it. So I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody. Very easy drinking, like it says. Um, very grassy on the back end. Actually, it feels more like hay. Like a hay type of note on the back end. You know, you've been tossing it around in the barn. Um, it's easy drinking. There's a bitter lemon rind edge to this beer. Um, and to be honest with you, that's about it. To be honest, it's this. There's little subtle notes of hoppiness, little hayness or grassiness on the back end um, but um, it's very very pleasant you know it's a simple tasting beer it's not gonna blow you with complexities and stuff like that but is what you see is what you get it's an honest beer it's an enjoyable beer and to be honest you know, I'll be happy to drink in it, you know, a few of them. 5%, it don't feel 5% at all. It feels a lot weaker than that. But, it, it's it, yeah, it's, it's it's perfectly, perfectly pleasant stuff, to be honest. It's it's not going to, you know, reinvent the wheel, is it? So it's not reinventing the wheel, put it that way. But, you know, it's enjoyable enough. One more for the road. Mm. No, so I'm drinking it out of a Richmond Brewing Company glass. Um, yeah, it's it's 
what you see is what you get with this. Honest, yes. Simple, yes. Enjoyable, yes. Um, and that's it in a nutshell, to be honest. So, boys and girls, Richmond Brewing Company's Richmond Pale Ale is very, very pleasant stuff indeed. Um, thank you very much for watching this beer review. Please subscribe, learn in the comments, and shall see all of you on my next one. Cheers, everyone.